This is what I seem to encounter every time I head to Crawling Valley to try to catch a pike. No matter how the day starts out, for the last three times I've headed out there, this is what I've encountered. Wind, rain, general nastiness. Well, fortunately, there's a lot more to the landscape around Crawling Valley than just waves and wind. It's not far from there over to the Red Deer River Valley. And at this time of year, that place is full of life. I found lots of yellow warblers and blackbirds, of course. This mule deer doe, she just stared at me. I think she might have had a baby in there. And catbirds. I love catbirds. There were plenty of wildflowers bouncing in the wind up on the ridges above the river. And in just a couple of weeks, these prickly pear cactus will be in bloom. I saw plenty of lone antelope and a few in small groups. They'll be having their babies any second now. Some babies, though, are already just about fully grown. I found this little fox relaxing by his den not too far from Crawling Valley. He really didn't care that I was there at all. The prairie just teems with life at this time of year. I found dozens of curlews like this one. And sharp-tailed grouse were all over the place. The wind had calmed down considerably, so I went back to Crawling Valley to see what it looked like. It was looking pretty good, so I headed back over to the bay where I'd started the morning. But of course, as soon as I got there, another rainstorm blew in. I tried fishing, but it just wasn't any good. Twice in the same day, the weather had kept me from the pike of Crawling Valley. But I'll be back, because I would really like to catch a pike.